Okay, good morning everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oil seed comments for Friday, November 13th. So anyway, overnight prices kind of steady a little bit on the defensive. We got wheat prices kind of unchanged. Uh, corn prices are down around two cents. Beans are unchanged, down five. Meal market's down a buck. Soybean oil's down around 25 points. It's also the end of the week. It's been a defensive week as well with the uh, USDA report that we got earlier in the week. We have wheat prices down anywhere in the neighborhood of around 10 to 25 cents. We got corn down around a dime. Beans are kind of unchanged depending on how you want to look on the spread, but what has been noticeable has been the uh, crush in the crushing margins. The meal market down around $5 and the soybean oil market down around 80 points. Not much in the way of fresh news. We got a lot of little minimized reports coming on up. We're going to have export sales out here later on this morning. We'll see how we are doing on the demand front because after the USDA report, we're looking at two things going forward in here as far as lead topics. Number one, how is the U.S. domestic export demand going, going forward from now, now that we know our supply from the last USDA report, and then also South America and how their weather, crop prospects, and or the political situation in Argentina resolutes itself going forward in here. But anyway, we'll get our export sales coming on out later on this morning. Today's the last trading day for the uh, November soybeans. We'll be approaching December, first notice day, uh, delivery for the uh, other contracts, that being corn, wheat, meal, and soybean oil. We'll also have an informant number coming out today, and they're going to be looking at next year's planted acreage. And then we're not going to get a commitment to trades report today, but we are starting to build up some modest net short positions across the floor, except for soybean oil. So that's something to be a little bit wary of if we run into any type of little South American weather problem. But overall, with the USDA report, the demand picture right now for the U.S. right at this juncture in South America crop prospects looking kind of good. We're still somewhat in a defensive tone mode as far as a market opinion going forward at this juncture. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Have a good weekend.